So what makes a good kiss? Soft lips. <laughs> Slow lips. And the worst kiss? Kissing the girl after she pukes is probably a bad, uh, bad experience. But it's usually I'm the one doing the puking. <laughs> Things you don't want in someone's mouth when you're kissing. But you can't avoid what's in everyone's mouth. Saliva and bacteria. Now, no one wants a sloppy kiss, but saliva can be good for the kissy, so to speak. The new research shows that actually kissing could be good, and uh, kissing increases salivary flow, and saliva in your mouth decreases or neutralizes the bacteria in your mouth. So if you do have a lot of acid or bacteria in your mouth that break down and cause decay, an increase in saliva would be good. Something like chewing gum is wonderful. And research shows that chewing gum also increases salivary flow. Hey, what about combining the two? Oh, I had a boyfriend who used to uh, chew my gum. We'd kiss and then he'd chew my gum. Is that gross? That's gross, right? Yeah, maybe not a good idea. And worse is kissing that would be harmful to you. Not a kiss of death per se, but a kiss of cavities. When you're kissing with someone who does have a lot of cavities, because the bacteria that causes cavities can be transferred from one person to another, then it's not good. So I always say, how nutritionists say you are what you eat? Well, I guess you catch what you kiss. And Dr. Philip Goodling says there are other bacteria that cause gum disease, also transferred from one person to another during a kiss. So as long as your partner is healthy and has very minimal cavities and brushes their teeth and flosses, then it's okay. And smooching with them or kissing with them increases salivary flow, so it decreases the chances of overall getting cavities. So caveat kisser, make sure the person with whom you're smooching has dental hygiene on his or her mind, along with that loving feeling, like Donald here, who says he just had his best kiss ever. Just about a half hour ago with my wife, because she's beautiful. Look at her. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.